But in terms of whether they have the power to tell President Trump, sorry, we think you've broken our rules, you're booted off, they absolutely have the power to do that. Jonathan Weinberg is a professor and associate dean of research at Wayne State University Law School. He says Twitter is well within its right to ban President Trump from its platform. Same goes for Amazon and others who essentially shut down Parler. It gets to choose um, who it does business with and who it doesn't. Weinberg says these actions do not violate anyone's First Amendment rights. What the law says about your First Amendment rights is that your First Amendment rights run against government. Um, They don't run against private companies. Weinberg tells us in a twist of irony, it was Trump and Republicans who got rid of net neutrality. Weinberg says net neutrality was designed to give people more rights to prevent being silenced by powerful media companies. The moment President Trump got into office, Republicans swept that all away. They said, that's crazy, that's awful, that's communism. Um, Government shouldn't be telling private companies what to do. Weinberg also thinks it will be difficult to regulate big tech without infringing on its First Amendment rights. If we think that Facebook ought to be regulated, you know, not only is Facebook or Twitter or any social media company, no, not only is the First Amendment not the tool for doing so, the First Amendment is indeed an obstacle to doing so. James Felton, WNEM, TV5.